The process of making Tiffany's iconic Jack in the Pulpit vase begins by gathering molten glass out of a furnace on a long metal tube called a blowpipe. At this point, the clear glass appears bright orange because it's so incredibly hot. The molten glass is rolled through particles of colored glass that have been crushed up into what is called frit. In this case, it is metallic blue. A wet wooden tool called a block is used to initiate the shaping process. We constantly need to reheat the glass to keep it moving and malleable throughout the entire shaping process. Air pressure is introduced through the blowpipe to create a bubble inside the glass, which is simultaneously shaped on the outside using metal tools. After another trip to the reheating chamber, we can begin to stretch the neck of the vessel with a tool called the jacks. The jacks are the most ubiquitous glass blower's tool used to make constrictions and in this case stretch the glass. After selectively heating just the bottom of the bubble, we can inflate, then flatten with a wooden tool the bottom of the form to create the base of the vessel. At this point it's necessary to transfer the piece to a solid metal rod called a punty. The small amount of glass on the end serves as a glue which holds the weight of the piece throughout the rest of the process. Once the connection cools, we add a small drop of water to the constriction, tap the pipe gently, and it breaks off. With the orientation reversed, we can begin to build heat in the top of the vessel. Even though we're no longer attached to the blowpipe, we can still shape this bubble with air pressure using a tool called the Sofietta. After once again specifically heating one portion of the bubble, we can begin to initiate the flare using the jacks. The final shaping occurs through a series of steps using heat, centrifugal force, and gravity. When the glass is hot and spun very quickly, centrifugal force flares the opening. By holding it down, gravity causes the form to fall around itself, and the final shaping is done with a wooden paddle. Notice how the flame from the torch accentuates the metallic qualities of the glass color. To remove the piece, water is once again added to the connection point and the pipe tapped. The finished object is placed into an electric kiln where it will cool slowly from 900 degrees to room temperature. Thank you.